after uh, touch and go uh, landing, the tower advised that uh, we uh, there was quite a bit of rubber had blown off and uh, probably at least two tires. How many were on board the plane? There's six. What, six kind of, what is the plane used for? Uh, for pilot training. Where was it going at the time? Uh, well, we just in pilot training, uh, just uh, go around the field and uh, and uh, uh, practice ILS approaches and uh, landings. Was this landing unusual with the tires flying? No, as a matter of fact, it was a very nice landing. Did you take any special precautions when you found out the tires flung? Uh, well, of course, we uh, had to come across the field a couple of times and get them to look at it and see if there were any damage, how much damage, and uh, but uh, none other than that, just to find out just uh, where we stood on the amount of damage and everything. Well, how extensive was the damage? Uh, it. Uh, the two tires were completely uh, blown off, and uh, uh, when the rubber came off, it uh, knocked a few holes in the fuselage, small holes in the fuselage, and, uh, but other than that, uh, there's no damage. I believe a lack of understanding of uh, city problems in Austin is due to the fact that the entire state government is still dominated by rural influence. Most of our senators and representatives from Dallas are extremely sensitive to our problems and are really working to do something. Unfortunately, we're not in the majority yet, but we can't sit and wait for the day to come when they are and then it'll be too late. The property tax must be reformed. The cities and the states must cooperate in finding new sources of taxation for the states and for the cities. Problems and needs are rising faster than tax money to pay for them. We must modernize our local government in order to conserve hard-earned tax dollars. The few reforms and steps, steps which have been taken to date have only been a patchwork, catch-up variety. If we wait, the problems could de defeat us. It's time for positive action now. They have a great attachment to principle. This is probably what they saw in Barry Goldwater, uh, whether, the, uh, whether the principle would win an election or not. And uh, you're going to find us in young people, they're very attached to people taking a stand. Uh, if they feel that a candidate has principles and takes a stand, no matter what the, the circumstances, no matter what the repercussions, they'll probably vote for him. So, in other words, you're saying, in a way, that young voters will reflect what other voters have done in the past. Is that true? I think, right, we don't operate in a vacuum. Young people don't come to the world of two or three driven snow and they're influenced by their, their environment and they're going to be voting that way. In that more children in Oak Cliff are affected. Uh, the decision also discriminates against blacks overall because more blacks are being forced by.
of things wrong with this case and with the decision. Where does the blame lie? I think it uh, lies with the uh, Nixon administration, uh, the HEW, the Legal Services Project, the Justice Department, all are involved in this suit directly or indirectly by permission or lack of action, one or the other. Well, Miss Worth, what kind of telephone calls are you getting? Hectic telephone calls. I understand you're getting about 480 an hour. Would you agree with that? Uh, I'd say that was about right. Is there any one question that stands out? Yes, uh, there's a lot of people from Oak Cliff uh, wanting to know um, what happened. Why were they the ones that were the ones that were picked on and pulled apart? Were there five different schools, you know, attending and what have you? And they're really uptight about it. How do you answer that question? Um, there's really no way that I can. I just try to um, agree with them and see what they have to say. And usually they end up answering their own questions. They think just think them out. Mm -hmm. You see, and uh, also they've um, also said something about appealing with a district attorney, and people have already gotten together for this. I see. Your phone's ringing. Excuse me. School Information Center, Martha Worth speaking. May I help you, please? About 11:30, a young man in his early 20s drove up in a blue Mustang with a uh, automatic pistol and uh, told our drive-in teller to uh, fill up a brown paper bag with money. And our teller did this, gave the bag back to him, and immediately uh, hit our hold-up alarm and notified the police, the FBI. Our security guard at the bank was in the lobby at the time it happened, and uh, by the time he got to the drive-in window, the car was driving away. Had the trial been staged, it would not likely have revealed much you don't already know. Probably about the only thing that would have come out of it would have been a little bit about what each of the two sides are thinking. The interesting things which did develop, Pat Robertson, the attorney who lives across the street from Leon Horton, was here, although he formally removed himself from the case several weeks ago. The attorney from Houston, Bill Ferguson, who presently represents Leon Horton, was also here. He and an associate told me they will also represent Art Reed. Reed, they told me, has taken a polygraph test, which they say showed him not guilty of any forgery charges. Justice of the Peace Robert R. Cole met with the attorneys very briefly, took the bench, and announced the examining trial of Artis Odell Reed has been passed over. The case is bound to the grand jury. Reed remains free on $15,000 bond. Jerry Taft, Channel 8 News, reporting. disturbed about the decision. They feel that it discriminates against them, and I agree with them completely. I think they're, they're affected more than any other part of the city. You've also uh, had some thoughts on the total number of students to be bused, I understand. Yes, I think the uh, uh, courts and uh, the analysts are misleading the people. Uh, perhaps two or three times more people will be bused than they're admitting on the surface. Were the plaintiffs justified in filing the suit? Uh, I don't think so. On what basis? I think they're not representative of the people of Dallas. Uh, 
people like Ruth Jefferson, who's on the War on Poverty payroll, has no business being represented by the Legal Services Board. Why? Because she's above the national average of the salary requirement. I would say 50% um, of the inquiries that I have had have been from parents whose children will not be bused. In other words, kindergarten, first grade, third grade, uh, even fourth grade, as I mentioned a while ago, parents who were hoping that they could begin ch children in the uh, intermediate level. Even uh, one mother was uh, uh, hopeful that we were beginning middle school uh, teaching at this time. So uh, I, I just can't really say that, I uh, wouldn't really say that it uh, would be that all of them were concerned with their particular children, their individual children being there. What are your opinions on the recent NCAA statements concerning the reducing of scholarships? Well, as I've indicated earlier today, my opinion is that they should go to the people who really will make the decisions, which are the president and the board of regents, for any kind of comment. Uh, at the University of Houston, I'm going to do just exactly as I'm told uh, by the president as passed through the athletic director. Bill, what do you look for for this season for your Cougars? Uh, Jerry, we have a number of question marks, not so much in the youngsters themselves, but the fact that they're playing at new positions. We've had to move some kids from tackle to end and uh, end to linebacker and tackle to linebacker. And whereas they have played and have experience and have proven themselves at one position, it's still questionable, you know, whether or not they're going to be sufficient at the position they've been moved. So right now it's a bit doubtful in that area. Most of these youngsters are on defense. How is Gary's knee holding up? Well, I've uh, had occasion to see him the last couple, three days, and uh, it appears as if his quickness uh, is back. Uh, his mobility seems to have returned. Of course, as indicated, we're guardedly optimistic right now about his chances of lasting the season. Will you prepare for your opener against Rice any differently than you would for any other opener? No, we won't prepare any differently. Uh, I'm in sincere hopes that maybe the frame of mind of the youngsters will be a degree more intense. In fact, I'll say it better be. in Texas, like Dallas, are faced with limited and dwindling sources of income. And I'd like to uh, list these two reasons. One, the cities are limited by state law to just two major forms of income, the property and ad valorem tax and a 1% of the state sales tax. Any other form of taxation which the cities might want or need must have approval of the state legislature and the Senate. And so far, the state has been pretty stingy with granting us with these requests and these needs. In the past session, the legislature killed, after the threat of veto by Governor Smith, a proposed two-cent hike in the gasoline tax, which would have been used solely for the state to buy all highway right-of-way, thus relieving local governments of this tremendous burden. Now, incidentally, this was the only form of taxation proposed in the entire regular session which would have helped the city, and this was killed. I'm here with Dick Mandel of the Fairmont. He's the fashion director of Sanger Harris. And this is introducing a revolutionary new panty boot. What is revolutionary and unique about this boot? Because it's a one-piece garment of the shoe and the hose put together, worn as a pantyhose. This one is in the print, and it's $27, and they are made in America, you know. This is the solid color one, and you notice how close it clings to the leg. It's a very contemporary way of dressing. The solid colors, and there are 11 colors, are $22. 
Well, and we have here. Oh, here we have the newest way of dressing the panty boot in a great Chinese lacquer red and the new look of layering on the clothes. And you can see how we pile it on. Off comes her ribbed sweater. Off came her cape. My goodness, now comes the belt, the skirt. And soon you'll see the revolutionary new panty boot, the all-in-one garment. It comes in five sizes. It stretches. There is no whip to be worried about. It doesn't shrink, and it doesn't run. And you wash it very easily. You don't have to worry about the shoe at all. You don't submerge it. It's the newest, most contemporary idea of shoe and the way to dress the legs.